Hey guys, Jeremy here. Uh, I thought this was funny to talk about. Uh, I was looking on the internet, found on an article on a website called Geek Tyrant. Uh, apparently, Rob Cohen, the original director of the first Fast and the Furious movie, has given his thoughts and his hopes that he would come and direct the end, like the final film in the series. What I find funny about it is just how he actually kind of accepts in the interview, is it was an interview with Screen Crush, and he accepts how ridiculous the series has gotten. The franchise went from a Los Angeles story built around a family of multicultural brothers and sisters to what I'll call pure spectacle. The beauty is that uh, the audience has ridden along with it for over 18 years. I'm very proud that the characters I created in 2001 are still in the lexicon. There's still a Dominic Toretto appearing every two years, or a Mia Toretto, or a Letty. It had to evolve, and it evolved in a way that was ultra worldwide commercial. And the heartbeat of it is, we live in a world with no gravity. Cars can do anything. They can burst out of the nose of airplanes. They People can jump across freeways. They can take down helicopters. It's like, okay, anything for spectacle. He accepts how ridiculous this series has gotten. Um, if any of you watched my review for Fast 8, I made the joke at the beginning which said the first movie was about car racing and uh, stealing computers, and then the new one is literally about stopping World War III. Literally stopping World War III. What I find so funny still about the entire Fast and Furious series is that it came from Rob Cohen, who in all honesty, is a pretty shitty director. He's got some garbage under his plate. How this guy keeps making garbage, but he's been able to basically stay relevant and keep getting jobs. But he's got some freaking stinkers, especially in the last little while. Um, the third Mummy movie, The Boy Next Door, Alex Cross. He's doing a movie right now called Hurricane Heist. And it's just, I think he's trying to emulate the ridiculousness of the Fast and Furious series, at least from what I've seen for the trailer. Um, but, no. If they actually did do this, it would be devastating. But they won't, because I don't think Universal wants to touch this guy. From what I've heard, Rob Cohen isn't exactly the best of people to work with. He's got a, he's a bit of a dingo, but... I don't know. Just wondering what you guys' thoughts on this. Um, to be honest, I made the joke the other day that basically the Fast and Furious movies are going to get so ridiculous that they're going to go to Mars and then they're going to go through different galaxies. They're going to figure out how to do warp drive. They're going to cross dimensions and at one point it's going to be Dominic Toretto and Captain Kirk having a street race in their spaceships and then all of a sudden there's going to be some argument about a teacup and someone's going to get killed with it. Somehow they're probably going to bring back Paul Walker via a hologram or some garbage. Dominic Toretto is going to be in a G... like, he was going to transfer his consciousness into a car. Because he's like, oh, I'm uh, a quarter mile with my brain. Vin Diesel said that he thinks that it will end at 10. I'm kind of waiting for Justin Lin to come back. I really want Justin Lin to come back because he's the one who brought this series back from death. And he stuck with it for four movies. Anyways guys, just wondering what you're thinking about that. If you're interested, maybe leave a comment down below about what you're interested in, what you think of the Fast and the Furious series, what you think Fast 9 is going to be about, because I don't know how you can top World War III. I literally don't know how you can, but unless they go into space, there's still space. Anyways guys, if you like this video, leave a like. If you're interested in more of these talks, maybe yeah, maybe subscribe, because maybe I'll try this more, more movie news stuff. So anyways, that's all for me. See you guys next time.